On Ginny and Georgia, nothing is ever as it seems, and the conclusion of season 2 is a prime example of this. The mother and daughter in the Netflix original series Ginny and Georgia try to fit in in Wellsbury while keeping some very important secrets from their past. The Millers were supposed to move again before the end of season 2, after a fight with Gil left Georgia and Paul's relationship on the rocks, but this was not to be. Season 2 of Ginny and Georgia is full of surprises, but the Netflix series still manages to keep a few twists that will surprise viewers. Breaking down Georgia's arrest and Tom's murder, Georgia's unexpected arrest for the slaying of Cynthia's husband Tom Fuller interrupts Georgia and Paul's wedding at the conclusion of Ginny and Georgia season 2. Everyone present is shocked by Georgia's arrest because, despite Tom's death earlier in season 2, there didn't seem to be any suspicion of foul play, apart from Gabriel Cordova, who is out to get Georgia. The answers to what happened with Tom's death are found in a previous episode, but Georgia's future remains uncertain at the end of the Netflix series' second season finale. In the penultimate episode of Ginny and Georgia season 2, Georgia has a conversation with Cynthia Fuller that influenced her decision to kill Tom. Cynthia confides the toll that Tom's illness has taken on her and her concern about how it will affect their son's perception of his father. Georgia empathizes with Cynthia, as she too has taken a lot of care to make sure that Austin has a good image of his father, in spite of her own relationship with Gil, which is why she kills Tom. This makes Tom's murder different for Georgia, as his killing is out of mercy and empathy, rather than self-preservation or anger. Why Paul still married Georgia despite her lies? After the incident with Gil, Georgia's natural tendency is to leave the area and start again, but her daughter persuades her to reveal what occurred to Paul, which brings the Ginny and Georgia title characters together. Georgia consequently comes clean to Paul about all of her past deceptions, minus the murders, of course. Paul responds poorly, which is understandable, but in the season 2 finale, the two Ginny and Georgia characters still get married. Although Georgia has lied to Paul since they first met, Paul is a kind, understanding man, so it is difficult to comprehend why he would still marry her. Although Paul acknowledges that it is not smart for him to marry Georgia for a multitude of reasons, he ultimately marries her because he knows he loves her too much to stay away from her. This harkens back to Paul's proposal to Georgia in Ginny and Georgia season 1, in which he tells her they are cut from the same cloth. Upon their reconciliation, Georgia affirms this sentiment, stating they're a team. Despite their rocky beginning, Paul and Georgia get married because they provide each other a chance of a life and love they didn't know was possible before, and would now do anything to keep each other in their lives. What happens to Ginny and Austin now, now that Georgia has been arrested after caring for them for their entire lives? Ginny and Austin will undoubtedly stay together since Gil is now completely out of the picture owing to Paul, though it is less apparent who would look after them without Georgia. The kids could stay with Paul as one option. Despite not being their biological father, he married Georgia before her imprisonment and already resides at their home, so the children would continue to feel a feeling of familiarity while Georgia is away. The alternative, more likely scenario is that Ginny and Austin will visit Zion. Ginny's biological father is Zion, thus it makes sense for her to remain with him. Despite not being Austin's real father, Zion is familiar with both children and even looked after them when they ran away from home at the conclusion of Ginny and Georgia season 1. Zion is therefore a plausible candidate to fill in for Georgia while she is away, because he would be well equipped to look after the two Miller children. Will Ginny and Marcus get back together? Near the end of Ginny and Georgia season 2, Ginny and Marcus break up. Both Ginny and Georgia characters have been through a lot in season 2 and are clearly struggling with their mental health. Their eventual breakup serves as a reflection of their personal issues rather than a lack of love for each other. This is evident from the fact that Marcus still showed up to Georgia on Paul's wedding. However, the question still remains. Will the former lovers rekindle their romance in the Netflix show? It's hard to say for sure if Marcus and Ginny will get back together in a future season of Ginny and Georgia. Even though both are clearly still in love with the other and are committed to still being friends, both have huge personal demons they need to battle before they can consider being in another relationship. Though Marcus and Ginny's relationship has overcome the odds in the past, the season 2 finale intentionally leaves the future of their relationship ambiguous, which will hopefully be explored more in-depth in a future season. The purpose of a season finale is usually to tie everything from the season together, but Ginny and George's season 2 finale raises more questions than it does answers. The majority of the inquiries concern George's detention. 
The largest unanswered question from season two of the Netflix series is what will happen to Georgia, as well as how her crime was revealed, given that no one saw it but Austin, accidentally. How Georgia's arrest will impact her family and what will happen to the kids is still another important concern. Since the incident with Gil, they have already experienced some hardship, and now their mother's detention adds even more pressure.